This little camera and this little microphone are so good that they set the bar really, really high. Shooting high quality videos with high quality audio is now possible for everyone out there. You don't need to be a professional anymore. If you want pro sound, you don't need to break the bank. The Wireless Go is cheap, light, compact, reliable, durable, and it works great for long distances too. 200 US dollars is a total bargain. The combination of a DJI Osmo Action and the Rode Wireless Go together is killing every type of competition out there. Few people turn around when you vlog since it's such a compact design and the quality is absolutely top notch. I couldn't recommend it more. We've put this camera through several tests from smooth stabilized videos to stunning HDR footage from stabilized action videos, riding a bike, to vlogging around the city and taking raw pictures. This camera has the best features on the market. Any beginner can be a pro with this camera at a very, very low price. If you're starting a YouTube channel, want to vlog or do travel videos, this camera is the best bank for buck you can get. Today, we're testing the camera and taking it to the next level. We're going to see how well it couples with a Rode Wireless Go microphone. Now, most people think video is what's important, but audio is equal important too. And it better be high quality if you want people to stick around and listen to what you have to say. A lot of people use their phone or sound recorders to record their voice and then synchronize it in post by clapping their hands. This is such a waste of time since you need to download multiple files to the PC and sync them up. Why do all that if you can have your high quality audio directly on your video? The Rode Wireless Go allows you to save time and energy by simply clipping the high quality transmitter on your clothes and off you go. And I recommend this microphone here, this lavalier if you want to go pro. It's a Rode Smart Lav Plus. It costs about 40 to 50 bucks. Uh, but it's totally worth it, especially if you put it close to your voice. It will capture really high, crystal clear, pristine voice. And all you have to do is you clip this right here on top of your shirt and the other side on the transmitter. And it's on the front. See, you put it in here. There's a jack input like that. This small microphone allows you to be creative in many ways. You can turn shotgun microphones into wireless microphones, send audio wirelessly to your headphones, eavesdrop on what other people are saying by concealing the microphone under a table. I mean, don't do that, please. The beauty is that there is a new version of the Wireless Go, the Wireless Go 2. This is going to bring down the price significantly to the first iteration, making it the best and cheapest wireless microphone on the market. This isn't a paid promotion. If I say I vouch for this product, it's because I really love it. I paid it out of my own pocket. This microphone is rated to work up to 70 meters, about 230 feet, but I took it to 180 meters, so 590 feet, and it still worked. I'm extremely pumped by it. I own a Sony UWP D16 professional radio wireless system that costs 800 US dollars and it's very heavy. This little fella costs 180 US dollars, it reaches 180 meters, and it weighs nothing compared to it. I love this Rode Wireless Go, and it's my go-to microphone. I completely ditched the Sony one, unless I have to do professional shoots. I recorded some field distance tests, so let's watch together. If you're not interested and want to skip this part, use the timestamps down in the description or the timeline of this video. I recommend you stay because it's going to be really crazy, it's going to blow your mind. I'll be going down here, like so. And all the way, you see that orange truck? I'll keep on going all the way to that road right there. Uh, I'm really curious, but there's quite a few trees in between, so I don't know if the signal is gonna be uh, blocked. Let's try. There you go. Good luck to me, because it's so steep. So apparently the dog chose to join me in my expedition. Uh, this is a direct line of sight and I'm not so far, so I'm sure that I, I'm still connected. Ain't that right, Tricky? So this is the first step before the hill going down. I think I'm still connected. I should be still connected. I hope the audio quality is good enough. Gonna keep on going down. And notice as I turn my back, the audio interrupts. Let's try that. A little bit of line of sight. It's just like there's some branches in between, a tree. So I don't know if the signal is being blocked or not. I don't know if I'm talking for nothing or not. All right, so... Uh, I don't know, I'm quite far away now, but I'm just gonna go on the next street just to see how significantly worse the signal gets. And I don't know if there's like a reduction in quality just to change the frequency and the gigahertz of the, 
a wireless uh, connection, but let's try it out. If I pass this test, the best bang for the buck available out there. I'm going to compare this uh, Rode Wireless Go with another device that I have. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, it has antennas. It's really big. It's a professional um, transmitter and receiver for audio. Just the microphone costs about 120 euros. So uh, this is the best option to go for because it's like, I think, $180 now. I mean, it's such a good price. I am super, super far away. I don't know if I'm talking for, for no reason. Uh, I'm going to keep on going and uh, let's see if it keeps the connection or not. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, this is a super stretch. I'm super. I have no idea if the connection is still there in between but still direct line of sight at the moment. One, two, three, and there's a wall. That's all I can do. This little thing is able to go so far. I mean, I don't even know why I have the other device, the, the Sony. I mean, that's much more reliable, but it's so bigger. I mean, I'm always going to use the Rode Wireless Go. It's insane. It, it, it blew my mind. I mean, if you, if you get your hands on one of these, just try it. Just try it. It's one of the best devices in terms of audio out there possible and it not only offers you uh, the ability to connect another lavalier but it also has a really good crystal clear audio with a with a nice muff on it that uh reduces the wind noise and it's just uh, such a good package it's perfect that's it i'm, I'm just too excited I, I gotta start shutting up now let's have a look at a few features that we saw from Rode's website. The transmitter features an inbuilt omnidirectional condenser capsule and can be used as a clip-on mic. It sends crystal clear broadcast grade audio via the 2.4 GHz digital transmission directly to the camera, so you don't have to sync it. It's the perfect wireless mic solution for content creators in all disciplines, from filmmakers, on-camera presenters to news reporters, bloggers, vloggers, YouTubers, and live streamers. It has an ultra compact form factor where the transmitter and the receiver weigh a ridiculous 31 grams each. It features a Series 3 2.4 gigahertz digital wireless transmission with 128 bit encryption to deliver crystal clear audio under any conditions and excels in dense Wi-Fi and Bluetooth environments such as shopping malls and conventions and hotels. Up to 70 meters in range, but we tested it and it even reaches 180 meters in line of sight. It's optimized for short range operation in congested radio frequencies environments, but it works fantastic in long range too. It has an inbuilt rechargeable lithium ion battery that lasts up to seven hours and has a battery saving mode too. You can also quickly charge it via the USB type C input. It's super easy to use. The transmitter and the receiver auto pair under three seconds. It has a three stage output setting selection. So zero decibels, minus 12 and minus 24. If for example, you're in a very quiet room, you can set higher gains for higher sensibility. If you're in an aircraft, you can set the microphone at the lowest gain setting, making sure that no audio clips or distorts, retaining all high quality audio information. The microphone comes in black or white colors as well, so you can color match it to your camera or to your style, to your phone. The transmission type is a 2.4 GHz digital frequency agile system. You have a polar pattern omnidirectional equivalent input noise of 21.8 decibels, A weighed. The frequency range is 50 Hz to 20 kHz. The external mic input is from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. The maximum output level is 3 decibels units and the maximum SPL is 100 decibels SPL. The dimensions are 44 mm times 45.3 mm times 18.5 mm. The Rode Wireless Go mic comes with two fur windshields, one pouch, two USB-A to USB-C cables, and one SC2 cable. The usual price of the Rode Wireless Go on Amazon is of about 200 US dollars. I got it for 180 US dollars on Amazon, so if you want to get a discount on it, you need to check on Amazon from time to time. I'd honestly be fine spending 300 US dollars on such a good and reliable device. It's a great return on investment. Remember the other microphone I have, the Sony one? Just a lavalier microphone from that system costs 120 US dollars. The problem of this uh, wireless go, Rode wireless go, is that the muff comes loose very easily. It has like these two clamps going into these sockets and they're supposed to, let's say, hold on 
to the device and not let go. The thing is, it doesn't really work. So uh, it's really, really easy to lose it. So for that reason, I bought these uh, sticky Rykote uh, muff kind of uh, adhesives. And you put it around the hole where the microphone is supposed to pick the audio. And then you add a muff on top. You can use these muffs and these stickies on uh, phone devices, on other action cameras, even your DSLRs. You'll need to get a cage for your DJI Osmo Action since you'll need a cold shoe mount for you to place the microphone on. You'll also need an adapter to plug the microphone into the camera. Links are down in the description for this easy and cheap setup. Usually, I use a little bit of parametric equalizer to fine tune the audio in post. The audio straight out of the microphone is typically very good, but if you want to be pro, you need to use the parametric equalizer in the dynamics filter. Let me know in the comments if uh, it's good quality. I'm going to also retouch it a little bit. Some parametric equalizer and some dynamics, maybe some noise reduction if there's any. Usually there isn't. And uh, there shouldn't be any problem with wind. First, there's no wind today. I'll do a video about this soon, so subscribe for it. I've already recommended this camera many times and did several reviews and videos about it. So if you want to learn more about the accessories or see more footage, get samples of that footage, check the videos in the description below. So that's it from me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know the drill. <laughs> like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I will see you on our next one. Now you might be asking yourself, what the hell is this, Orlando? Are they headphones? No, not really. They don't even get on my ears and I cannot, and it's not headphones, it's not headphones. You know, it's summer here, super hot, and having this thing kind of saves your life, at least in my opinion for myself. Uh, I am a little bit uh, self-conscious of going around with this, especially in the subway where it's kind of hot, humid, a lot of people all close to each other. Uh, but uh, I don't know, if I start seeing people wearing these things and carrying them around, then I'm going to start bringing mine uh, the company called Torras gave me this. The box is beautiful, lifetime warranty, and you have three settings. So this is the first setting. Second setting, ah, uh, feels good. Third setting, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I do believe that this is really convenient, but it's just, you know, it's, nobody has it. So it's, you, you kind of get a little bit self-conscious, you know. Um, well, if you want to buy it, if you want to make a gift that is a little bit out of the ordinary, links are again, guess where? down in the description. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for participating and watching this video.